core developer worker Waka has gotten R-Type running on the Mr. FPGA. It still needs a lot of work and it is unsure what will come out of this core. But even if this core is never released, Attract 17 and Darren O are working on a core for the Irem M72 hardware, which R-Type runs on. They are concentrated on getting Dragon Breed first, and then will work on other games for that hardware. There was an update to Hotego's CPS-1 core that fixed a certain bug in Carrier Air Wing. It turns out that fix caused issues in other games, so Hotego rolled back the Carrier Air Wing fix until a proper update can be implemented. Hotego also made a small update for BlockBock. Joystick support was added to that game. The rest of his efforts went towards the Neo Geo Pocket Core and the CPS Core. Gunbird 2 schematics were also being worked on. Also, a reminder that Hotego gives much more detail and technical updates on his Patreon page. In addition to that, you also get access to all his beta cores before they are released to the public. Consider joining his Patreon if you like reading technical information or if you want early access to the cores. Retro Castle has built a prototype snack adapter for the PlayStation Core. Bob from Retro RGB was able to test it and briefly spoke about it. It currently has support for real memory cards, light guns, and of course, original PlayStation controllers. Since it's still a prototype, there is still work to be done, but it does look like it's going to be a nice fully featured device. The official Mr. FPGA documentation site that has info regarding cores, setup, and other Mr. FPGA related items has the ability to have anyone help with the documentation. If you want to help contribute, Birdie Bro wrote a quick guide that shows you how to make edits to the documentation. All edits are still approved by the administrators to ensure the quality of the documentation. Thanks to Attract 17 and Darren O, another Nichibutsu arcade game has been released in beta form. The game is Sky Robo, also known as Big Fighter. Sky Robo is a horizontally side scrolling shooter where you take control of a ship that can also transform into a robot. Each ship's form determines the type of attacks you can perform. To get this beta, you can either install it manually or use the update all script and enable unofficial distributions. You can also access a hidden debug menu from all Nichibutsu ARM death based titles. These debug menus can contain options for viewing character graphics, object graphics, a stage viewer, and more. Check the project's GitHub to see how to access the debug menus. FPGA implementations of the chips used in our retro consoles and computers can help with their preservation. One way that these FPGA implementations can accomplish that is with the ability to create actual physical clone chips from the FPGA code. Matthew Venn on Twitter has shown that this is possible with open source tools. He used Hotego's Verilog implementation of the SN76489, a sound chip used on both the Sega Master System and Genesis, and use open source tools to come up with a design that's ready to be sent for manufacturing. He's not planning to produce these, this was only done for educational purposes. To accomplish this, Matthew used the Skywater Open Source Process Design Kit. This is a database of information put together by Google and Skywater that helps you take a chip from the design stage to the manufacturing stage at Skywater's facilities. If ever in the future, manufacturing for old computer chips becomes accessible to the average consumer, we basically guarantee that these old consoles, arcades, and computers will never die. Matthew also has a course that teaches everything you need to design your own ASIC. You can even receive a physical ASIC that you designed at the end of the course. No digital design experience is necessary and the possibility of getting a chip made is not guaranteed because physical chips are sponsored by Google through a lottery system. Matthew is also offering my viewers a $100 discount to the first three people who sign up to his course using the coupon code LUSORCE. Matthew is not compensating me in any way for this. I just really believe in his mission of making ASICs more accessible. Check out Matthew's website and YouTube video that describes his course. Links will be in the description. Sound for Pierco's Rodlin Core is starting to be implemented. Otego's YM2131 sound chip implementation is being used and Pierco has it starting up in the core. To finish the audio, two more Oki chips still need to be hooked up. Since its last release, the PlayStation Core has received lots of updates that fix issues and added features. These updates weren't officially available, but you could still download test builds. Now, a new official release of the PlayStation Core is available that implements all the progress made since the last one. Just run your update script to receive it. Notable updates include 
a hack for PAL games to run at 60 hertz without being cut off vertically, the data cache option that speeds up games was renamed to Turbo. I think that's a more fitting name. This option activates the data cache as well as fast GTE commands. Mappable pause and dual shock mode switch buttons were added, GTE timings were fixed, and there are so much more updates. Check out Robert Pipe's Twitter or his Mr. FPGA forum post for all the detail on what's been added and fixed. Some games that will see improvements in this update are Tetris with card capture Sakura, Casper, Tumba 2, Elemental Gearbolt, Jumping Flash 3, Akuji the Heartless, Gex 2 and 3, Evil Dead, Hail to the King, Misadventures of Trombone, Real Fishing, Persona 2, Aquanaut no Kujitsu 2, Gunbird, and Crash Team Racing. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and it's a bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.